<laughs> I'm not in this scene, obviously that would be sort of slightly strange if I was. Um, but what was that? Yeah, that would have been... <laughs> yeah, that would have been interesting in the corner. Brothers, we brothers stick together <laughs> through thick and thin. I think for the set, it's a really important moment, that, because it does, I think, when you see them rutting its tree, you go, this is not just a period drama as we know it. This is not Austin. Mm -mm. This mm -mm. is real people trying to get by and, and having all sorts of um, life experiences within a very strict society. So I think it's quite, it should be quite an impactful moment. And it felt impactful as we were doing it because it was, you know, a very, you know, it was very, a baptism. A very fun. rough tree. <laughs> it was a very rough tree. <laughs> this tree was really helpful because it had foot holdings to help old Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was Mount, the only Mount, tree that Mount the those. tree. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Mount the tree, Mount, Mount Sienna. I'm basically on the shelf for this my third season, and I just want to look amazing because it's just not working for me, clearly. So then I want my corset to be tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter, and tighter so I look really, 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 really thin and really attractive. Really Bessie Carter, an excellent fainter. Yeah. Really Fell good. forward on her face. Big feather headdress. It's really fun to film, but it's really, really shocking. To watch. And got the queen's face when she looked down and then just slowly looked up at me. I felt really, really hot under the collar. Gold Rashevel, our queen. Yeah. Judging her. Lots of. What What are the dogs? The Pomeranians? Oh, yeah. No, the real queen has been corgis. I got <laughs> I confused. I was like, corgis. I just made a noise. <laughs> yeah, the real queen has corgis. The real queen, yeah, but Golda. Golda's my queen. Yeah, me too. I really loved uh, the scene that I have with Anthony because, again, it, it's it's a, a meaty scene and it sort of it not only sort of describes the relationship she has with her daughter Daphne, but it also sort of uh, reveals the relationship she has with Anthony and the family. It's a huge scandal. It taints my family, my daughters, who I'm supposed to be getting married, and and yeah, it's it's bad news. I loved that. Why? Because it's drama. And I she was loves like, drama. loving it, and then you hit me. I you're did like, hit you. We Shut. listen at the door, she gets a slap, which she is horrible. Yeah. Do you know what I enjoy is that the girls' pregnancy tests are their sheets. Oh, yeah, you're like, is it covered in blood? Is it not? Oh. <laughs> Punch him, Daphne. Punch him. Do you remember? Yes, and then Simon comes up, and it's all like. Yeah, it's bim bam bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two men fighting over there. Over the lady, but the lady, the lady, she can lady. do her own fighting. The lady can do her own Ooh. fighting. Oh, she's got a good yeah. left hook, that girl. Daphne. Mm. Trying to find out how babies are made. Well, I'm still working on it, actually. We don't know. Um, Someone's going to loan us a computer and we're going to Google it. And then, internet, we're going to know. And we're going to tell you it's all of you. It's an awful route, I think. It's a really awful route to find out how babies are made. They're both virgins who can't drive. Oh. You two are just virgins who you can't drive. <laughs> There's so much thought and detail that's gone into this that you can take one aspect of it and within that it sums up what this show is. Um, and we, even with the choreography, they've got incredible sort of Regency um, classical dancing, but twisted with moments of body popping. I mean, it just sort of all comes alive and you feel in those big ball sequences that everyone's in the same show and tonally you really get a sense of it mm. and they play banging music. Mm. Banging music! <laughs> Sound like an uncle. <laughs> this is banging cheese. <laughs> When Philippa meets Finch? Yeah. And you bond over cheese? Yeah. That's the only thing available to her mind at that point in time is like... Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> and he loves her and he's down. And I'm not going to be on the show. Yeah. And I'm really jealous of that. I'm really mad at you. Oh, no. Penelope and Eloise's fight. No. It's very um, sad. I think I understand it, though. Yeah because Eloise sort of doesn't stop. She doesn't stop talking, she doesn't stop yeah. to think. And then sort of your, her, your, her privilege is never really, she never yeah. really, like, she's never aware of it. Because she's got a bit of a killer of a line, like a proper burn at the yeah. end. What is it? Um, not everyone. Oh, not everyone's a pretty Bridgerton. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. It's that only fight that only real best friends could have. Yeah. That was terrifying, actually. I was really scared. We had like a, to watch the yeah, stunt was. woman jump off that horse. The stunts are they're, yeah. they're sort of mind blowing. And she threw herself off the top of a <laughs> of a huge horse. <laughs> yeah, it was. And then we never saw her again. We never saw her again, actually. <laughs> she did it in one take. She had a special. huge cape on as well, didn't it? Yeah. So sort of they sell a tape to the horse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to make it look. You know, if she was going to go down, she's going to go down looking pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>